Hello guys, hope you all are doing well. My name is Madhurima Mukherjee. I'm a final year medical student from Atika Medical College, Kolkata. And today I'm going to talk about distraction. Yes, distraction is very relevant, especially during this COVID times, when we are working from home and doing our online classes from home. So let me give you a small example to start with this topic. Suppose you are doing your online class and suddenly a notification pops up on your phone. It may be a notification from your favorite YouTube channel or a notification on WhatsApp. And you feel this burning desire suddenly to check that message or that notification. By the time you come back to the original work that you were doing before the notification popped up, you have already lost 10 to 15 minutes of your precious time and then you feel guilty about it. I needed to do something about this. So I read this book called Indistractable. So what is actually distraction? So distraction comes from this word traction, which means something that pulls us towards our goal pulls us forward towards our goals and distraction is just the opposite which means something which pulls us away from the goals so what can we do about it yes distraction is obvious it is actually absolutely normal during this time covid times when there is so much uncertainty and so much situations going around us but can we do something to reduce it definitely we can so Let's, let me talk about this phenomenon called homeostatic response. What is homeostatic response? So whatever we do, we do that to escape discomfort. For example, when we check social media, we are checking it because we want to escape uncertainty. So from this, based on this, a technique which I'm going to tell you guys right now is called a 10 minute rule what is this 10 minute rule so you set a timer on your phone for 10 minutes now during this 10 minute either you can go back to your original work that you were doing or you can surf the urge what is surfing the urge so psychologists call it surfing the urge so what is it Surfing the urge means this feelings of discomfort that you're feeling are transitory. They are like waves and they will pass away with time. So during this time, either you get back to your original work or you sit still or quiet or write it down on a piece of paper. You can write it down on a journal. You release it in the form of writing. You sit quiet and the waves of discomfort will pass away. So I found it very useful and I use this technique every time I feel that discomfort. Actually research shows that the majority of the majority of this distraction which we are feeling, we are getting distracted not because of the external triggers like notification of phones or laptops or some external trigger but majority of the distraction comes from the internal triggers like pain, like tiredness, like boredom, overwhelming situations or anxieties. So all of this are coming mainly because of the internal triggers, not the external triggers. Yeah, external triggers may contribute to some of the distraction, but mostly it comes originates from the internal triggers. So if we want to manage our time, we need to manage our pain. So for that, I think this 10 minute rule is an extremely, it's an extremely nice way to actually, you know, either you know not escaping the discomfort but rather you know sitting with it and let it pass away or you just go back to your original work and you'll see that actually after the 10 minutes you are more focused and more concentrated on your work so the second technique that i think is a more permanent solution to this distraction thing or a more long-term solution to this distraction thing is making a schedule so what can you do so at this weekend you make a schedule for the next week and on that schedule the schedule should focus on three areas of your life first area should be yourself the 
second area should be your relationships and the third area should be your work so first area is yourself every day you should do something do some activities that you enjoy that you really really enjoy it may be practicing your hobbies maybe going out for a walk playing with your pet dog or any pet on talk or maybe you know talking to a friend you may also watch a movie if you like it very much so whatever you like very very much whatever you enjoy to do very very much you must do it every day every single day the second area is your relationships relationships in our lives are like the pillars they are the support system without them we won't be able to survive it's really not possible for us to survive without our relationships so we must invest in our relationships for that every day make some time for your friends talk to them share your day with them share your feelings with them and don't just be superficial be try to be more vulnerable try to share you know your difficulties with them try to share whatever you are feeling you know nobody is perfect we all are imperfect we all have flaws so don't try to be perfect and just don't try to play cool in front of your friends so try to be vulnerable also you can spend time with your parents and your siblings if you have your neighbor so invest in your relationship it's very important and the third area is your work so your your work you know you should schedule your work in the weekend for the rest of the week and scheduling your work doesn't mean that you have to complete it within that stipulated time you don't need to you don't need to worry about completion of the task you just need to attempt doing that task at that scheduled time so if you are scheduled to work at 8 pm today you need to sit for that work at 8 pm by doing this you are basically instructing your brain that you are becoming more and more disciplined so you promise making a schedule is kind of promising yourself that i will do this task at this time and if when you do it you feel good because you promised yourself to do it and you're doing that on that scheduled time completion of the task remember again i'm telling you completion of the task here is not our motive our motive is to sit for the task at the scheduled time and at the end of the day when you actually follow your schedule you feel good because that involves the schedule will involve three areas of your life yourself your relationships and your work and you will feel more satisfied and more joyful at the end of the day and the week at the end of the week you will feel you know that feel that feeling of satisfaction you will get is just like it gives you more happiness and during the weekends you can use the weekends as your reward during the weekends you can watch so you can rest you can sleep more and you can watch a movie go on a maybe go on a virtual date you may you know talk to your friends for a long time and you know enjoy your weekends so use your weekends as your reward and during the week you complete whatever you have so this way your life becomes more easy and more happier don't feel this overwhelm especially during this time and uh, your anxiety also reduces so i hope this technique will help you and the last technique that i would like to suggest is whatever you find what whatever you find you don't want to do or find it difficult do it first thing in the morning first thing in the morning you must do the thing that you don't want to do at all like i don't want to study so i study first thing in the morning so doing the task which you don't want to do do that first thing in the morning It definitely help you i and please don't like keep it for the night or for the evening and just don't delay it because at the end of the day you will find that you just didn't do it and you just delayed it like me i did it a lot of times so i do whatever i don't feel like to do first thing in the morning i hope this techniques will help you i hope this video has motivated you a bit and uh, please you know take action because watching this video won't help uh, watching this video only and then not doing anything not taking action won't help so watch this video please try the techniques and take some action because motivation comes after taking action so remember that motivation will come after you have taken some action so i hope this video has helped you guys see you next time bye